hello everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional this is my youtube channel where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all without any further delay let's start the today's topic so today we are going to explore a new feature which is uh, there in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 around the product information and management. Last couple of videos I have been releasing on the functional consultant uh, skill sets. So I thought to uh, I thought to do one video at least on the product side. So this is that video. So let's start uh, what I'm going to talk about. So this feature is about uh, having the sales text uh, information item sales text group information on the product variant. So as of now, if we see that uh, this particular capability is available at the product uh, uh, at a main product level only, but it is not on the variant level. So wh what is the use case? The use case can be, let's say if I have a product A, and it has a variant v1 and v2 it is possible that variant v1 might fall under a 5% tax or the variant v2 might fall under the 12% uh, tax for the same product so how are we going to manage that so now that can be managed uh, using this new feature so we are going to explore that so before we go to the feature let's see what is available today so <clears throat> if i go to my screen and if i navigate to the release products here and I can select this product uh, looks like this product is product master and it is going to have some variants here so if I see here uh, what we had is that we can specify the item sales tax group uh, uh, for the purchase and sales at the product level but if I have to go and see that, uh, is it possible to define the uh, define the uh, item sales text group uh, for the variant? So if I open any one of the variant, it is uh, not possible as of now. So what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to navigate uh, to the feature management and feature management has got this new feature, which is available, which allows us to have the item sales text group for the product variants for the sales and the procurement both so i'm going to enable this and uh, then after that what we will do is we will just uh, refresh this screen so now uh, i can see this is i have refreshed this browser if i open this variant now what I can do is that uh, I have a two additional tabs added here where I can add the sales text group for the let's say this particular product is going to follow this so I can specify this the uh, let's say variant uh, black color but for the <coughs> same product let's say the blue color is going to have the different uh, uh, text group and I can select the different text group here okay now how it is going to be reflected in my transactions let me quickly show you in one of the purchase order so now i have this purchase order created now what i can do is that i can select that product first and then uh, probably we can see that how this uh, <clears throat> product is going to populate my text information so right now there is nothing selected i think i need to set up this unit of measurement so just give me a moment let me correct the configuration so i have corrected the configuration which was missing so now i have selected this now we have the item sales text group let's select the variant uh, here if i select a black so if i see this is the item sales text group in the bottom which is getting populated but what if i, if I select a variant blue so it is giving me the all so which means now our item sales text group the text calculation can work based on the variant and we can specify this information that's it for this video hope this is going to help you in defining your product master where you have the variant applicable and if you have a different taxation applicable that's it 
thank you for your time uh, see you in the next video take care